everyone and welcome this is day one of hashtag vlogmas i'm very excited to be doing it i think it's going to be difficult i'm gonna have to force myself every day to make a video but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it every day except for sundays all the way until christmas so december 24th is the last day every day consecutively i'm gonna make a video about something and for today's video i'm doing random facts. I thought it would be best to start off with an introduction, get to know each other, you know? Also, tell me below, or somewhere, or Facebook me, and be like, I want to do this too, we can do it together, and it'll be great. It'll be less lonely for me, because it's weird, it's gonna be weird. I just, I'm doing this mostly to like practice my video making skills, like being comfortable in front of the camera, I'm clearly very awkward, but that's okay, that's okay. So let's get to it. Turn random facts. Number one, I love sticky notes. I mean, I have like a thousand sticky notes. My room at home is covered in sticky notes. My room here doesn't have as many, but in like books and stuff, I always like to stick sticky notes with like mottos and song lyrics and stuff on it. Just so like randomly I run into it and I'm like, ah, it makes me feel better. It's really fun. Uh, my friends even for like birthday gifts have given me sticky notes. That's how obsessed I am with them. I think I might have some. So for this fact, I thought it'd be interesting. So both of my grandmas, both on my mom's side and my dad's side, are named Arlene. Uh, my nana, who's named Arlene, she's dead now, but she's on my mom's side, and she was actually she changed her name to Arlene, and so she became an Arlene. But it was way before, like my parents ever got married or anything, so it was really random. And then my dad's mom is also named Arlene, so that was cool. It's like, what's your grandma's name? Arlene. What's the other grandma's name? Arlene. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Maybe it's not that interesting. It's interesting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Action number three. So for my third fact, I'm gonna tell you what shows I like. So I really like British panel shows, which is random. A lot of people don't actually watch them. It's not like we can get them on TV. I guess you could on BBC America, but I don't actually know what shows that go on it. I usually find them on the internet. My favorites are QI. Russell Howard's Good News. It's not really a panel show, though. Um, Would I Lie to You? Um, Never Mind the Buzzcocks. Um, 8 Out of 10 Cats. 9 Out of 10 Cats? What, you know, what other? The Jimmy Carr. And, um, I don't remember it. what the name of it, but, um, David Mitchell's new show, which is, like, quotes, and I love quotes. Like, I'm a huge quote person. And so that's a really good show, too, but I don't actually remember what it's called. My favorite is what I like to you. Four! So for my fourth fact, uh, to, I named my technology. Not like my camera or anything, but like phones. And we always named the cars in my house, so I think it's just a thing I kind of picked up. My um, favorite phone was an Alias 2, which I got a new battery for. So it had like a lump on the back of it that wasn't naturally supposed to be there. So I named it Quasi, like Quasimodo. Which is my current phone is named um, Obi for Oblique. Although it was originally, uh, you would think Obi Wan Kenobi, I know, but the, I got a case for it. This is Oblique, so it's like Obi. But um, one of my phones was named Chico, but it also changed names later, but I don't actually remember what it changed names to. It's dumb though. I only ever had like three phones, so it's okay that I don't remember, but still, it's just like, why? I'll just refer to it by its name, and then everyone would just stare at me like, who the hell are you talking about? I was like, no, it's my phone. <laughs> Act five. Now, because I grew up in a small town, um, I wasn't aware that taxis and buses were just like public transportation. I thought it was like an invention from movies. Because I lived in a place where taxis didn't come and the only buses were for school. So I assumed buses were only for school and that it was only in movies they took you to places and <laughs> like actual places like stores and stuff. And so I didn't know until I was like 10 that it, they were like a legit thing and not just a, a creation of TVs and movies. I genuinely thought it was just like buses are for school. What are you talking about? You get on a bus and you go to like Walmart. That's insane. Cause it was such a small town that we didn't have buses except for school. 
we didn't have public transport at all. We didn't have taxis. I suppose you could call up a taxi and one would have to drive really far to get to you. Because <laughs> they don't have bus stops or anything. Fun facts. Okay, fact six. So, that was weird. Did you see that? Like, look at that. I don't know why it's so protruding today. Weird. Anyway, fact six. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. I've read all the books and I've seen all the movies. I actually waited to, I've seen, I saw the movie before I read the seventh book. I don't know why. I was just like, I don't want to read it. I don't care. But then I read it again and then I remembered how much I loved it. And actually I own all the movies as in on DVD. <laughs> and my brother owns all the books. So weird sibling thing we got going on there, but you know, what is? I guess he likes to read more than I do and I like to watch. <laughs> Fact seven! So I have really weird luck and an example of such luck is I was playing Yasu with my family when I was younger and I never played before and I didn't know the rules and I didn't understand anything and so everyone went it was my turn to roll it was my first time rolling it's first time in the game and I rolled a Yahtzee which means you win and I'm just like what just happened what I roll and everyone was staring at me and I'm like what and they're like you just won yeah my family doesn't like playing games with me I'm starting to run out of interesting things about myself, so no, I hate corn. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. How un-American, you hate corn. And I'm like, I know, but it's gross, it smells gross, it's horrible. Just why, why do people like that? I don't, I don't, I don't get it at all. I, it should die. <laughs> oh no, they can use it for fuel now, so I guess that's, yeah, don't eat it. Use it to run cars, better idea. Nine. Now I'm gonna have to read this, so I thought it'd be fun to give you my favorite quote since I said earlier how much I like quotes. So this is my favorite one by Arthur Conan Doyle, who is um, the author of Sherlock Holmes, so the books. So you should really, you know, respect him. He clearly, you know, knew about drugs, mysteries, murder. He was important. So the quote is, it may be that you are not yourself luminous, but that you are a conductor of light. Some people, without possessing genius, have a remarkable way of stimulating it. Okay, and my final fact, fact number 10. So, for the final fact, I'm gonna tell you to de-stress. I like to color, like a little child in coloring books. It's really relaxing, it's very like, you know, they say uh, doing the same thing over and over and over again or listening to the same thing over repetition is very relaxing and so I really like to color and mostly all my coloring books are Hello Kitty because I am obsessed. Clearly a cat person. I mean look at this face. If this face is not a cat person, you know, then you've been lied to and I'm a spy. But I'm not because I love cats. I like dogs too. I have a dog. So I really like them. I don't know why. I just, you know, it's just so relaxing. Did this. And so sometimes it's really hard to stay in the lines though, because you like, like I zone out and then I'm like, then I miss the line and I'm like, how am I 21 years old? <laughs> Should go back to kindergarten. But that's it. That's my, I just like it. I have a, um, a Flintstones coloring book too, but it's not here, it's at home, which is should. Always gotta love Bam Bam. If you don't know that reference, you're young. And that is sad to me. Because <laughs> I'm clearly young too but only a little. So uh, thank you for sticking around if you watched the video this long. I mean, bravo. I mean, I just sit here and make myself laugh for 10 minutes. I really did, which is sad, but also, you know, <laughs> pretty skilled. Hello. So I hope you stick with me for Vlogmas. You watch my videos every day. I hope you make videos with me and I'll see you tomorrow.